Hi everyone! So in today's video I thought I would do a drugstore makeup starter kit. I think these videos are super helpful for people that are just getting started with makeup and they have no idea what to buy because I know that walking into a drugstore and seeing all of those many rows of makeup, it can be a bit daunting when you have no idea what you're doing. And I thought if this video can help a few of you then that will be really great because I have quite a lot of drugstore makeup and I've tried out quite a few things so I thought I would give you my opinion on what my best products are from the drugstore. So I'm just going to go through everything in order of how I put things on my face, uh, basically from start to finish how I do my makeup. So the first product that I want to mention is primers and these are two primers that I found from the drugstore which I find really work at smoothing out your skin and prepping it for foundation and if you don't know what a primer does basically you apply it on your face before your foundation or you can just apply it to your t-zone if you're particularly oily and basically it helps your makeup go on a lot smoother it makes it last longer as well so my two favourite primers from the drugstore are this Garnier 5 second perfect blur one and just as good as that is the 17 photo flawless uh, primer and these are both really nice, really cheap, if you want to try out a primer from the drugstore then I would try these. So moving on to foundation, I actually have three different options which is a bit sneaky but I thought I'd put in basically my three favourite drugstore foundations and they all have slightly different benefits and coverages. So the one that I wear every day and has a medium and buildable coverage is Rimmel's Match Perfection and this foundation is really good I think for all skin types. I have oily skin and it works really well for me if I powder. Um, I've known it also works for people with dry skin and it provides a medium to buildable coverage. It's just a really nice foundation, it doesn't feel too heavy and it covers the majority of redness and blemishes on your face. The second one is also by Rimmel, it's the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation and this is similar to the Match Perfection but this I would say is a full coverage foundation. So this is my go-to foundation for when I'm going out, going to parties and this is also great for oily skin because it stays put. And the final foundation is the Revlon Colorstay foundation. They make this for different skin types. I personally have the combination to oily skin one and I think it's really great that they do that and this also provides amazing coverage, it's pretty much full coverage. When you apply it, it sets and so it kind of dries so it will not come off. Um, so yeah, this is another really good option if you're looking for more coverage on your face or if you're looking for a foundation to wear when you're going out. Okay, so moving on to concealer. My two favourite drugstore concealers are the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer and I know this is massively raved about by everyone on YouTube but it is one of the best concealers out there. I think it's even better than some high-end concealers. It basically provides full coverage. It's really good for under eye circles, it's really good for covering up spots and it stays put. It's great for all skin types and this is just an amazing, amazing concealer and I believe it's only about three or four pounds so that's a really good deal. My other favourite concealer from the drugstore, um, which I also think is great for if you're starting out with makeup, is the L'Oreal True Match Concealer, and I actually wear this on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a bit lighter than the collection uh, concealer, but this is also another really good pick for if you don't need as much coverage and if you want something a bit lighter on your face that doesn't look as cakey. So this concealer is really great again for under the eyes and on any blemishes and I would definitely say this is buildable. Um, but this also provides a really nice coverage and this is a great concealer. On to powder. My favourite drugstore powder and so many people's favourite powders overall is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and this I'm sure you've heard a lot about. You apply it all over your face after you've done your foundation and concealer or just to your t-zone if you don't get very oily and it sets your foundation and makes it last a lot longer throughout the day. You can also apply your pressed powder throughout the day if you notice yourself getting a bit oily and it kind of controls the oil and keeps it at bay so you don't look as shiny. The Rimmel Stay Matte Powder is an absolute essential for your drugstore starter kit. So moving on to eyebrows, 
If you want to fill in your eyebrows, I know it's not for everyone, but if you do want to fill in your eyebrows and define them, then my favourite two products for that are this MUA Brow Pencil, and what's great about this is it's only £1 from the drugstore, which is absolutely amazing, and I just use this to fill in my brows and kind of make them appear thicker and slightly darker. And also what I like about this is obviously I have blonde hair and this doesn't come off too warm. A lot of blonde eyebrow products I've tried have come off quite warm and quite orangey but this one isn't as bad so I think this is a really good drugstore eyebrow pencil. And then after I have filled in my eyebrows I then like to go over them with a clear mascara and I know this looks a bit kind of dirty because it's got some of my brow product in it but this one is just by collection it is the color lash mascara in clear and this is really good for running through your eyebrows after you fill them in and it will set them and keep them in place all day so that's another really good pick for eyebrows and if you don't want to fill in your eyebrows or make them any darker but you just want to keep them in a nice shape then I do recommend getting a clear mascara so onto eyeshadow I thought I would include one eyeshadow palette because there's so many to choose from and I just think this MUA palette in Undressed is probably the best one to get if you're just starting out with makeup because it has a really nice selection of colours. It's basically all neutral shades and then it has one kind of great blue colour um, and you can pretty much create any look with this from daytime, natural looks to dramatic smoky eyes and I just think at £4 you can't really go wrong with this eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love all of the MUA eyeshadow palettes and I just think this is a great pick for if you're starting out. So onto eyeliner, I actually have two, I have a pencil eyeliner and I have a liquid eyeliner. My favourite pencil eyeliner is the Soft Curl Kajal, Kajal, Kajal? eyeliner however you say it, um, eyeliner pencil from Rimmel and this is just in the colour Jet Black and I probably should have sharpened it but it's basically just your standard pencil eyeliner, this can go on your top lash line, your bottom lash line, it can go on your waterline and I just find that this one works really well for me and it's super cheap as well. In terms of liquid liner, my favourite liquid liner is this one by Collection, it's called the Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner and yeah, it basically it just looks like a pen felt tip and I find these felt tip liners much easier than the standard liquid eyeliners, especially if you're a beginner and you're just starting out with your makeup kit. I definitely recommend this eyeliner because it has a really precise point so you can get that really nice kind of cap flick, um, you can get right into the corner of your eyes and it's just a really great eyeliner, it doesn't smudge, it lasts all day and I just think this is a great option for if you're starting out. So onto mascara, again I have two products which are two of my favourite drugstore mascaras. The first one I've talked about before in my videos is the 17 Falsify HD Mascara and this one has a plastic bristle brush. I uh, don't know if you can see that, but it provides really nice definition for your eyelashes. It lengthens them, it volumizes them, and it separates them really nicely. So I really like this mascara, and this is by 17. And my second favorite drugstore mascara is this one by Max Factor. It's the False Lash Effect Mascara. And again, similarly, it just has a plastic bristle brush. This one has a much thicker brush with shorter bristles, and it provides really nice volume, really nice separation of the lashes, and I just like all of the Max Factor mascaras really, they're a really good pick for if you're just starting out with makeup. So onto bronzers, I know bronzer is not essential for everyone, um, like I said with some of the other products, and well I mean none of, the, none of these products are essential if you're just starting out with makeup, you can wear as little or as much makeup as you like, but I'm just going through all the products that I think are great for a full, complete drugstore starter kit. So my favourite bronzer is by Sleek and this is the Sleek Face Contour Kit. Um, this actually is a kind of two-in-one because it has a highlighter here and a bronzer here and this is my favourite bronzer. It's matte which I really like so you can really contour your cheekbones nicely and also warm up your face. It's a really nice colour, not too orange, it's great for pale skin and the highlighter is also really pretty. So if you're looking for a bronzer, I recommend this one by Sleek. 
So onto blush, if you're looking for a drugstore blush for your starter kit, I recommend this one by MUA, and this is the Mosaic blush in the shade English Rose, and as you can see, it's just got lots of different colours, but what I like to do is swirl my brush in all of them and just apply it to the apples of my cheeks, and it just brings more life to your face and makes you look more fresh and rosy, and this is also a bit shimmery, so it gives you a nice glow, and I just think this is a really great blusher for if you're starting out. So finally onto lip products, I know this might seem a bit excessive but I've chosen quite a few. So I have some liquid lipsticks and I have some normal lipsticks and I have a lip liner as well. So my favourite liquid lipsticks are these two. This one is the Rimmel Provoca Lips. I've talked about these before and I just think that these lipsticks are incredible. They last through eating, they last through, well, they basically they last all day and they are fantastic. My second liquid lipstick to show you, these MUA Luxe lipsticks, um, I think they're called Velvet Lip Lacquers or something, and yeah, again, these are really great liquid lipsticks, they have amazing colour pigmentation, they last a long time, they dry to a matte finish, so if you like matte lips then I really recommend these. I'm also going to mention a Revlon Colour Burst lipstick, I also really like these, they do them in lots of different formulas. They have a sheer one, they have matte ones, which is one of these, and they also have just a kind of standard creamy lipstick version. They have so many shades and they're great quality. I also am a massive fan of the Revlon lipsticks. Again, they do these in loads of different colours, loads of different finishes. They're really great quality. I just think these are some of the best drugstore lipsticks out there, so these are another great one to add to your starter kit. And finally, the Rimmel lipsticks are also really good. This is a Rimmel Kate lipstick, and again, I just really think these are great option for if you're starting out with lipsticks, they come in loads of colours again, loads of finishes again, and yeah, these are just also a great lipstick. And I'm just going to mention lip liner. I know when you're starting with makeup you don't tend to wear lip liner as much, but I'm just going to mention this one by Rimmel. Um, this is in the colour Spice, and this is kind of, it gives you that kind of Kylie Jenner lip, which I seem to be talking about in every single one of my videos. <laughs> but yeah, um, these Rimmel lip liners are a really great option if you're looking for lip liner. They come in quite a few different colour shades, and yeah, these are really great. Finally, brushes. This will come as no surprise to most of you, but these are the Real Techniques brushes. I've just picked out a few of my favourites here from the different collections that I have. Um, I believe these two are from the Core collection, these two are from NYX Picks, and this one is from the Eye collection. And these brushes are just amazing. As you probably know, Everyone on YouTube raves about these, everyone in the world raves about these because these are just my absolute all-time favourite brushes. They definitely beat any other brushes that I own. Um, they're so soft, apply makeup beautifully, they're affordable. These Real Techniques brushes are just amazing and if you're starting out with makeup, I definitely think these are something that you need to add to your starter kit. So yeah, that is all the products that I think would be great for a drugstore makeup starter kit. So I really hope this was helpful to some of you because I know when I first started out with makeup, I had no idea what to buy when I was going into Super Dragon and Boots and I just kind of went through the process of trial and error of the products that are my favourite. So I've mentioned all of those in this video and I hope that if some of you are new to makeup that you found this helpful. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe, it would mean the absolute world to me. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!